What's up guys? We are back and we're here to open a Chilling Rain booster box. I'm um, hopefully you've seen my last video. We did a product opening as far as the ETBs, blister packs, and uh, random booster packs. We opened the Pokemon Center ETB, the Shadow Rider one. Uh, we didn't get special delivery charger. Very unfortunate. But there is hope that maybe the re the compensation from the mess up might have one. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. Where am I going? Alright. So, we have a Chilling Rain ETB. Um, super excited to open this. Um, this is a huge set. Um, a lot of good art cards. Uh, good cards in general that affect the game. And we're trying to open this as carefully as possible. Come on. Um, but yeah, so far review, it's weird, I got really good cards out of my pre-releases, I got the alternate art Shadow Rider Calyrex, you know, the chase card that most people want, which was cool, and I got the regular version, the regular VMAX Shadow Rider Calyrex in the same box, or, you know, just right after it, which is kind of ironic, um, but if you watched my last video, box is very damaged. It's like actually jacked up. We'll we're gonna we're gonna pull it all out of the booster box just to hopefully see uh, it didn't get damaged at all. Uh, the the cards in the back here. It looks like they're fine. I will say this: first impressions after opening actual product besides the pre-releases, the quality is seemingly pretty bad. Um, I don't know why, but what I saw was just, I don't know, like the cards, the, the edges are, are pretty bad. And, um, kind of disappointing, I'll be honest. Uh, this box is, is shocked, bro. That's kind of disappointing. I should have checked it before. The wrapper kind of covered it up, so I didn't really notice. Oh, well. Um, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 5, 6. Alright, sweet. I don't know why I did that. I just thought maybe they looked a little off. But we are on track. So yeah, we'll just hop right into this. Um, again, like, like I was saying, it's just like the quality seems... I don't know, like the cards, the edges are so bad on these cards. Um, it's really honestly pretty weird to see how bad they are. Uh, uh, it's just like, we just pulled a Moltres in the past video and uh, it was all shot. It was bad. It was bad. Saw his butt reverse, Cinderace, hold on. Um, as far as hit rate goes, another uh, opinion doesn't seem that good. I think besides my, uh, what is it called? Besides my pre-release boxes, that the one box, seemingly the one box, I'm, I, I kind of mixed them up accident, um, had really good pulls, but the other box was fine. I think I got a multi out of that one. Um, but as far as, like, the products I opened, really bad pull rates. Nice. Not a bad hit. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna be Chilling Rain. 
you know, it's kind of rough then because like, you know, there's so many cards that this, this, this set is very collectible and I know collectors are going to be chomping a bit to buy this, you know, um, as I am, you know, and because there are so many good cards in this set. Uh, but with that being said, it's, it's kind of lame that if the hit rates are really bad, then, you know, you're kind of in a rut, to say the least. Um, the battle style is really bad, too. But, the thing is, Battle Styles was more so a TCG gamer set than a actual collectible set. Because, you know, there's a handful of cards in there that could be collected, but, you know, for the most part, it wasn't, like, something that you were like, oh, yeah, I want, you know, this, this set because they have really cool cards. I mean, it did have cool cards, but it wasn't something... It's not the same as, like, Vid Voltage or, you know, other sets. Um, but, to be, like, to be fair though, I've pulled a ton of video voltage and, you know, got some good cards out of stuff, random stuff sometimes, and then some really bad cards of, like, booster boxes. So, it, or, you know, so I don't, I don't know, dude. I feel like it's hard to judge hit rates when if you just got a bad box, it's like, Battle style seemed like a very consistent thing, but still. Um, I got a ton of secret rares out of that set. So the only thing I don't like about pulling down is I am pulling like two cards. Half the time. Impact. Oh, let's go! Alright guys. Maybe the hit rates are fine. It was just weird with the products. Let's go, and we're gonna sleep this bad boy right away. Probably triple see this guy too. That's a good way to pick up. Let's go, dude. That's that's a great card. Um Wow. We're gonna get through all our hits before we are even done. Wow, which would be kinda of lame. You gotta hold the suspense, you know? I think. That's what I'm told. I don't know the whole YouTube algorithm, I'll be honest. But that's a great pull right there. Very happy about that one. It's a great card, great Pokemon. A full art trainer would also be good. Uh, like I said, I am probably gonna chill out after this. Slow King, hello. Um, and not really buy that much Chilling Rain. Just because I already have the Shadow Rider color. So, not to like keep rubbing it in people's face, I just try to find things to talk uh, So, yeah, this, it's not like this is the most. Like, there are some really cool things in it. I would love some training cards. But, I'm okay with like finding the trade through them or something like that. But, this is. Malamar? Quickly though, I wanna see. 161, 198. So what's the difference between this one and the other blades that came out in my last video? I don't know. We'll, we'll just live with it, I guess. What do I do? I do find funny about the Pokemon TCG in general is that they uh, sometimes just make V cards and not V maxes. And it's like, what's the point of the Vs if they don't have a V max? In my opinion. Um, I don't know why you would have the lack of. But this is the first time they did, like, you know, their strong Pokemons as, like, uh, two different cards. Last time we had strong cards were GX and EX, and they just, yeah, we won't talk about that. They just were probably one of the most broken kind of things ever made. 
Um, it didn't make evolving things irrelevant because obviously there are some really key VMAX decks out right now that are very good. Thunderous. Um, but still, it, it made things a little easy for people because they don't have to evolve, you can just throw it on the field. I think VMAX is probably one of their best, more fair settings just because you have to go t through that process of evolving it at least once. So, I think that's a very important thing to have in this game. Because it's Pokemon, it's not just how you have cards that just are there, you know, you're supposed to evolve everything. So, Pope, it's Porn, that's a Selbion, Selbalion, Kobolion, I don't know. Someone tell me in chat. In chat. In the, in the comments, how to pronounce that. Cabalion. Oh. I do not know how to pronounce that. I don't know why I keep having two. I don't understand how I have two can work. Weezing Burst Hollow and Spirit Tomb. Not the good Spirit Tomb either. Big sad. But yeah, let me know what your opinion about uh, Special Delivery Charger and whether, you know, we should have gotten this or um, if, you know, it's alright that we didn't get it or if you even think it's coming out. Do you think it's coming out in Evolving Skies, or is it just going to come out maybe the 25th anniversary kind of set when you order that? You never know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also kind of a special art, it's like the outline art of Blissey. So we'll, now what we're going to do is, for this one, we'll just regular sleeve it and top load it. So we'll put this in face. Card's condition is really bad though. Um, low? Okay. It, I don't think you'd be able to tell, but there are speckles up here. Speckles down here. Kind of like a whiting speckle kind of mist on it. Unless that's just normal, but I don't think it is. It's light, is, but it, like I said, it has speckles on it. It's quite unfortunate. I don't know, dude. The cards... These cards seem like very poorly produced. I don't know why. Maybe it's a new printer and that's why, but... It's a little disappointing at the end. It can be like that. I get the off-centering and stuff like that, but... I feel like when it comes to, like, off-centering is fine. Like, okay, like, obviously not fine, but you know, we would rather have something better than that. Um, but, you know, I get it. But... The biggest thing is when it has like edging problems and stuff like that or whatnot. Ooh, Zapdos V, let's go. Zapdos V. Nice, nice. Regular art one though. Could have been a special one, but it's not. Again on the edges on this one, not great. Uh it is gonna be interesting to hear opinions about that because I honestly am getting this opinion that the quality of these cards are outright like garbage like so bad they, I, like they really are actually bad like so far like I don't know if it's just my card but literally every card that I've seen so far like has edging issues and even the code cards and like yeah the code cards are important but they came from the same printer you know like the corners are really yeah that would be a darn shame that if printing was just sped up and people were skipping steps or whatever to where things came out a little bit less desirable to feel. Um, 
but we'll see. The more cards we get, um, we get to kind of like judge it. Like I said, the edges look really bad. And uh, hopefully you guys are opening the cards too, so you guys know as well. Um, but yeah, they're... I thought Blissel was in Battle Cells as well. Slow King V, okay. Alright, alright. I don't know, is that... Is that alternate art, like special art or not? I don't remember. Uh, it's a Galarian version. Just trying to look at them real quick, and the more I look at it, it's just still bad. I'm, I don't know if I'm just being picky and that's typical, but I don't think that is typical. Um, I don't think they would ever get a PSA 10 on that um, if you were to go grade it. Now, I haven't graded cards before, I'm not really looking to grade cards. Um, not right now, at least. Uh, I will get some graded in the future when PSA opens up. I do want PSA still, just for kilo factors. Um, BGS isn't bad, sells for less. Takes a little bit longer than C CGC, um, and a little bit obviously faster than uh, nice quarter board. Um, but here's the thing is one I'm not trying to necessarily flip and stuff like that I know a lot of people that do this like that started collecting this year or last year or maybe for even a while and this is just what they've been doing it's grading them quickly and selling them and if you are trying to do that I would go to CGC and and grade them there just because the CGC they're really quick it takes like a week or two to get them down and uh, if you guys, if you factor in time, even though the card will sell less, it is something that like, okay, it's a slab at least, and a good case, you know, uh, and you know, you might get your money. Uh, the one thing I will say is that if you are someone that is buying slabs from CGC, I think you're kind of dumb. Like, because the thing is, one, it's not PSA graded, it's not BGS graded. Those are objectively better, the better grading side where they, they grade harder, they grade to the point of where it actually matters. Yeah, a graded CGC card will probably go for a little bit more than, um, ooh, Metagross VMAX, let's go. Then, a, you know, having it be raw, but I don't think, like, comparatively, not that much. You know, it's just, it's just not. I don't know. Like I said, but when you factor in time and stuff like that, it makes it worthwhile. Um, if you're grading to collect, just have a slab, you know, a slab here and there. Uh, I would get PSA regardless, because that will carry weight later down the road. Versus CGC is not going to carry that much weight down the road. Let's say you've had it for however long. You get it go graded, and it's like, well, why didn't you just get it graded by PSA if you're gonna wait this long to keep it? You know, it's kind of my logic. Here. But you know, my humble opinion. Like I said, I've never graded anything, so I might not know. But that's just kind of like outside looking in, kind of perspective of like. How I see it, and how I would imagine it being. What a crab! Lani would be cool. Flin uh, Flannery would be cool. I don't know if Honey or who the other one was off. 
Uh, there's one more that I'm thinking of, I think. Uh, but if we get full arcs of those, that'd be sick. So, the hit rate seemed actually kind of normal now. It's kind of what I expected. Um, as we've gone on. So, it may have just been the bad products that I had. Um, these were used. We already got, what, five hits, hits, and then, like, some hollows. Some hollows. And we're not even half, like, we're, like, halfway done now. Like, now. And we've already pulled all that. So, that being said, I don't know how much more we'll get. We'll see. Now, I, I do find it funny when people do card openings like this, you know, is they see the co-card. And, like, these guys have been doing it for a hot minute, and they know what the co-card means. Like, depending on the color. But they still do the, you know, the card trick and everything, and they, they reveal like that, you know. Um, but I don't know, if, like, is that what you guys like? I would like to know that. Because, like, when it's not white, like, what's the actual point, you know? Especially in this, like, sets that don't have something in the secret rare, um, spot. Uh, so you guys saw that... <laughs> So this is all connected to my Streamlabs and everything, uh, and uh, one of my friends just followed me, so uh, I guess if you see this video, thanks for the follow. <laughs> I'm not even streaming right now, uh, but it still pops up. Should probably turn alerts off now, since uh, at least on this uh, setup, because uh... oh, <gasps> no way, bro. We are the Shadow Rider Calyrex King. You gotta be kidding me, actually. We got the alternate art. Shadow Rally Calyrex V card. Oh my god, and that's sick, bro. Look at that. Dude, we have the alternate art Shadow Rally Calyrex. We have the V Max. We have the alternate art, or the regular Shadow Rally V Max. Now we have the regular, or the alternate art Shadow Rally Calyrex V. We are the Ca Shadow Rider Master, dude. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to do anymore. Like, that, you know, that's, dude, this booster box has been amazing, clearly. I didn't even pick it out, my, the guy at the local card store picked it out for me, I didn't really care, I was like, it's booster box, and I feel like when I pick, I get screwed. Uh, that's huge! Man, oh my gosh. There's no way, so, my expectation now is that, you know, hollows, maybe another V card, you know, but nothing super crazy and important, um, because that's a lot of hits right there, even if you count the Leopard, Leopard. Um, so it's not like you know, I'm chilling, I'm chilling with where I got, and that just is icing on the cake. Um, I don't even know what I was saying before that. Uh, oh, the whole uh, follow. <laughs> Low key, ruined my video, man. Thanks. <laughs> Should have followed me when I was streaming. Ghastly. That is huge, huge, huge. I just thought I saw a needle. That was really solid. Holy crap. Dude, I don't understand. There's like. Dude, we gotta put that in. I need to go to the card store and actually go get a case for it now. We'll still put it in a top loader, and how I sl triple sleeve it makes it really easy to pull out, and I don't have to do anything extra to it, so I don't touch it a lot. Um, because ideally I don't want to touch that card. And that's huge, though. We are happy. Happy, happy doo-doo. Cast form. We vile. What a vile weave. I wonder why that's why they named it. Because it's the top 
Does a weave look like that? I don't even know what weave like those things look like. Is weave just technically like a wig? Someone in the comments let me know. I don't know. I don't think that's clear right now. But yeah, if, if we got another pull, like a good pull, man, like this box has been insane then. Um Okay, okay. Now, temporary, like, this isn't, you know, the, man. I'm trying to think if I triple sleeve the, the other Ice Rider, or the Shadow Rider. We'll set it up as a triple sleeve for now. I think I did. Ice Rider Calyrex Remax. The regular version. Imagine if we got the alt art. Like, imagine if we got the alt version of that. Like, now, or if that was, like, actually the alt version, you know, I would be done. I'd be like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. The past few openings I've had have been so lucky, I feel like. That I, like, it's like, there's no way I'm this lucky. It just doesn't make sense. That was like, oh my goodness. I don't get what's going on. Like, this, this booster box is loaded. Like, I don't... Bro. Articuno V? Regular arts, but still, like, I don't think we should be pulling these. Now, to be fair, watch this be like a normal kind of thing. And I actually probably got less, or like, less good cards than other people. Goes. But we're gonna be appreciative of what we got. I, you know, I keep saying that it has to be the end, but I do think it's the end now. If anything, it's going to get hollows or something like that. Um, there's no way I get another card. Because, like, sure, V cards are probably very common. But the fact that they are those V cards, I think, are really good. Um, and do count as hits, you know. So we're never going to be mad about those. And then the, the alt art, Shadow Rider, Ice Rider, oh, the Shadow Rider, like, is actually insane. I can't believe we have both alt arts. Like, what is going on? We are gonna case, wait, we literally could display them together, which is gonna be amazing. But we'll triple see the top load at first, and then... In the next few days, I'll go grab uh, a thingy, a case for it. Not a case, but like a magnetic case. Magnetic cover? I don't know what you call it. That is I'm just. I'm, and then we got Ice Rider right after that. We I don't know if we're just a Calyrex person. Because if we, like, if we get uh, like the alternate art Ice Rider Calyrex. And then like the regular, the alternate art uh, Ice Rider uh, V card. Jeez. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, bro. Rainbow Rare Milani or Melanie. However you want to call it. It's funny enough, I think all the guy that carts with that one is. And like, sure, it's the Rainbow Rare and the, you know, the, the regular ones are a little bit more sought after because you can see the colors and stuff like that. Bro, she's blonde with white clothing. 
that's a good Rainbow Art version of a trainer. I get like you know maybe Nessa like like trainers that have a little bit more color to them. I mean that works. There's a lot of white in it, anyways. Dude, what is this box? Man, I am I am still astonished by this box right now. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what I did. You know, but apparently I've been good. Apparently, you know, if you watched my last product video, I was like thinking like the hits were bad. You know, and like possibly this is just a regular thing. But man, this booster box. Ah, uh, dude. It, it, what sucks? This is what sucks. Is that part of me wants to open more Chilling Rain. At the same time, I got all the things I want. So what is there more, you know, like, or things, like, I'm satisfied enough with what I got. Obviously, there's other things that I probably would want. But what's, you know, I'm not really, like, desired in that, you know. I'm also trying to save money, whatever I can, you know. And, or whatever, if you like it, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even know, dude. Okay. Okay. Um, that's crazy, man. This is just nuts. I, I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go look back in my other pictures because I've taken pictures of every single hit that I've had before from like booster boxes and no I didn't label them so this one issue. But I'm gonna try to pick out the ones that I think came from booster boxes and see what my hits were because I think this is probably the most I've had like hit wise like this is insane. We got two packs left no doubt we are done for the day the night to this night right now, right? No doubt. Um, huge hits today. Like, I am gonna wrap this video up like I am, like, you know, done with this. Um, I will. I will. I will. Um, because I know. Look at all the hits. Like, there's no way. Uh, anyways, that's the point. But, I don't even know what I was saying at that point. Oh, that's cool. Glade, rare. Last but not least pack. And like I said, we are so content with what we have. This is a green card guide. It's it. We're done. But that was a, an amazing ride. Uh, holy cow. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, those hits have been just outright amazing. Um, I, what is that, two secret rares then? Emperor's got a secret rares, right? Or ultra rares, yeah. Like, this is just insane. So we got Melanie, Milani. I like Milani. Test water and your chief from your discard pile to one of your opponent. If you do draw three, that's a really good card. Galarian Articuno V. Shadow Ice Rider. Sorry, so many Shadow Riders. Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, regular version. We have the alternate art Shadow Rider Calyrex V card. Metagross V Max. Sloking V. Again, I don't know if that's alternate art or not. Zapdos, V, regular art. Let's see, outline V, I don't know what to call these. In career, I don't know. And then our Blaziken. Great hits, holy crap. It's actually quite an amazing day. Um, I literally got all this stuff today. <sighs> today being June 18th. Uh, this video is coming after all of June 18th. But I, I don't eat. And, oh, and, okay, I'm being rude. This is a V card. Light part. Um, we also got that. But, this is insane. Like, actually insane. I, I did not expect this to be like that, but we, we got some crazy hits. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, there are going to be other videos coming about, like Vice Wars and other Pokemon videos. Evolving Skies is two months away. So, you'll be seeing it very soon. 
very 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 soon so uh i hope you guys enjoyed um but we're gonna get going if you liked it please leave a comment subscribe and a like a thumbs up they say thumbs up now i guess right but we guys have a great rest of your day bye